You're listening to the April 11th, 2021 reading of Blossom Good Child's Channeling with the Federation of Light. Hello there. I thought we'd have a break last week and give White Cloud a turn. Nice to be back with you. What have you been up to? Welcome to you, Blossom, and each one. We have been monitoring. The state of affairs on Earth. And all around. For we are not just the overseers of the overseers concerning matters of your planet Earth. So how much do you oversee? A great deal. Galaxies aplenty. Really? And you have the time to chat with me. Yet, as you know, Blossom, we are not just chatting with you. We are able to reach many through you. And those that we reach are ever-growing in numbers, and therefore uplifting the vibration of your planet. Which, of course, is our purpose for communicating with you. So, do you chat with other Blossom-like beings on other planets? We are in communication with many, and those that it is necessary to do so. Yet, in truth, we would say that our main focus is upon your planet at this time. For there is much to rectify and take care of. A lot to oversee. How exactly is that done? In many varied and complex ways. Yet, technology allowing us to view your situations is very much an acceptable and integral part of the journey you, we, are on. So when you view us, do you see us as we do? This, of course, is possible on monitors and such screening devices. Yet our overall participation is from an energetic viewpoint. And this we are able to measure with instrumentation that is far beyond the knowings of those upon Earth. So should you see things going topsy-turvy, what do you do then? We continue to monitor. As you know, we are not here to step in and rectify. That is not our position. Yet, we do have permission to do as we do in assisting your souls. Playing the role as human beings, as one aspect, to remember who you are in your light and truth. Which then in turn allows your planet to increase in light which in turn brings about the divine plan that is neatly and securely in place. Okay. So, many are feeling dizzy and having vertigo symptoms at this time. Am I assuming correctly that this is due to higher vibrational light energies coming through? This is correct, Blossom. So, who's responsible for letting the lid off that in order for the energies to pour down? We see what you are asking, and yet we would answer by saying that there is not a particular crew that has this responsibility. The fact that these higher energies are pouring in is due to evolution, in a sense. Divine alchemy, would we say. These higher energies have evolved into such, due to the natural course of the divine plan. I can feel this is going to get tricky. Because I want to ask who devised the divine plan. In the knowing and understanding that God is love and not a person sitting at a desk with pen and paper writing this plan down. Love devised it. And indeed, Blossom, this will get tricky. Love in as of itself is the highest intelligence in existence. As love it recognized the very low vibration of itself that your planet has been experimenting with. And due to the lowest level and harm that this experimentation has created, love, in as of itself, felt the absolute need and desire to change course from this degradation and abhorrence. So, love, in as of itself, felt it necessary to let light once again reign over through your beloved Gaia. Once that decision was in place, 
just that very thought of recognition put the divine plan in place in order for its transition from dark to light to weave its magic. Divine intelligence works in as of itself. So love is an intelligence without a soul or brain, if you see what I'm trying to get at. Love is everything. Love is the one true soul that each and every one of you stems from. Consider this word stem. It grows from a root and branches out. In essence, you have been given the honor and privilege to go, grow, forth from the very roots of the one soul of that is love. And through your experiences, report back through energy the extents to which you have reached. Are you following us? Yes. So is it through our reporting back that decisions were made to make this change? Indeed. Yet take into account also that the branches spread far and wide into every possibility of life itself. So for terms of understanding, we would say that perhaps planet Earth was created from seeds that fell from a branch from the almighty stem. Perhaps other seeds fell from another branch, which created another planet. Each species, depending on the seed that fell and where, creating its own agenda as an experiment of life in its different forms, to see what design would blossom from its original blueprint. I think I'm following. I think. You see, Blossom... Love is life. Where there is love, there is life. Where there is life, there is love. In many billions upon billions of vibrational frequencies, ever-changing, ever-evolving, ever-experimenting, forever and ever, in all its multiple equations. Oh, don't get me on to maths. You know I'll pass out. Yet when you say equations, is it literally all derived from equations? No, it is all derived from love. Yet in order for a design to express itself, it needed a format to follow, to bring it into existence. So then... Don't... I don't even know how to form the question. Let us help you by giving the answer. Yes, every vibrational frequency has many equations to make it arrive at a place. Yet, keep in mind, too, that with every breath, the equation alters due to every thought that every one is having at any given moment of that breath. So, how can an equation ever arrive at a place? because it does so within every moment of a breath, and a thought, and most of all, a feeling. Would we best put it as the feeling being the place, the answer to the equation that may last for yet another breath, a moment, not in time, for there is none, yet a moment of experience. Wow, my head is exploding, yet not, for I know it's impossible to even grasp the enormity of it. Yet, even though in your physical human existence you may feel this to be so, remember too, you were part of its creation. So we shall now return to the point of no return. I am the light, I am the love, I am the truth, I am Mrs. Confused of Noosa. <laughs> Within the divine intelligence, the divine plan that is in place upon your planet, and may we add, as many know, that the journey of this transition, and indeed its outcome and destination, as in of its next phase of itself, 
affects everything. Because everything is part of everything, nothing can be, is, outside of love. Because everything is it. Yep. So the point of no return is... Now. Meaning... Within this divine plan, due to love itself making the decision that the experiment of darkness on your planet in particular is to go no further, the light that is filtering through, combined with the light energies of you, each one, is anchoring into the very core of the life soul that is known as Mother Earth. This, we must add, is healing her from wounds that were put upon her due to being a part of the experiment of human existence. She lay there as the rock to be built upon, and throughout all abuse injected into her, does she not have the strength to give you sunshine, flowers, wind and rain, oceans, birds, insects, life, mammals, in all their glorious beauty? This strength that is within of her is within of you. For you are from the very same stem, the same branch, the same seed. And now, life, love itself has decided that the darkness has had its experimental time and that a halt has ensued. The glory of that which is light love on a higher frequency of beauty and giving and sharing and participating in all that is good is there awaiting you. Know it. Be it. Experiment with it. Oh, the joy that is to come, the joy that is waiting to serve you, as you shall, in turn, serve it. As the saying goes, you are the ones you have been waiting for, and yet now the wait is over, as each one recognizes that this is so, and that you were there all along. Such strength required to make the changeover. Such strength you have. The more you accept and understand this as your truth, the more gifts unfold as you rise up. As you see your mission through, as you become the brightest light that as one shall lift everything, because as you, one person, understand that the light love that you are can move mountains, then you understand that as an individual, together as one, you can move your beloved planet into her new home. Beautiful guys, so encouraging. Thank you. In gratitude, in loving service, I am. Still a little bit confused, I think, or maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>